Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once he grows up. Pablo Picasso. Hi, I'm Judy, an artist and an art teacher. Excited to see you and have you with me today. Special shout out to my kindergartners and first graders with whom I would be standing in front of the whiteboard doing this fun little lesson on castles with a really cool trick with a couple of lines to create depth. I have my faithful artist assistant, Joey, with me. She'll be drawing with me today. And for this lesson, you can work on a whiteboard. You can work with pencil or crayons or markers, um, anything you want. As I use some simple shapes to make this complicated idea, you'll learn a few things. And when we get to the end of the lesson, you might decide to change, um, to change the way you do those things. And that's okay. There's lots of right ways to make art. And I'm just going to show you one way. And we'll be making a castle today. What we do in class a lot is using simple shapes to make complicated ideas. And we also remember that even though we're all doing the same thing, it's going to come out of us differently because we each have our own style. And once we get going, your creative brain is going to give you some unique ideas. And I wish I could see those ideas. So send them to me if you can. I'm gonna start with a nice breath. And the first simple shape we are going to use is a square or a rectangle. Just put it right in the middle of your paper or your whiteboard. As I start to transform this square or rectangle shape into a castle, I'm going to continue using easy shapes and lines, and I'm going to add a couple of lines to create some towers right now. And as I add these lines, I'm going to do something that makes it feel like a tower. A tower is a column shape and a cylinder shape. And on a cylinder, rather than having a straight line down there, a cylinder is going to have a curved line. So on the bottom of those lines, I'm turning it into a cylinder. I'm going to do that on the top too. And on the top of the cylinders and on the top of the rectangle, I'm going to do these little, they look like staples upside down staples maybe, or little rectangles. What do you see that shape as? These are the turrets of our castle. These would have been the spot behind which knights or soldiers would have um, uh, protected themselves and they would have peeked out from the turret to look down on the land or to see if um, if some other soldiers were coming. And I'm going to talk more about, about that. Um, the drawbridge, the door to our drawbridge is going to be an upside down U shape. Take a nice breath. We need another one. And um, we're going to do something pretty cool right now to give our castle drawing some depth. Fancy Nancy art word. Depth is when you feel like you can go into something. We're working on something flat. I can't go into it, but I'm going to use two lines to create depth right now. So as I make my drawbridge, um, if I just draw two straight lines, it feels like maybe my drawbridge has a ladder or it's on some stilts. But if I bring these lines out at an angle, it's going to give a feeling of depth. There you feel like you can walk into my castle. But that's my drawbridge. And I'm going to show you it's my drawbridge by connecting those lines 
and these two lines are going to be straight. This is the thickness of my drawbridge. And now I'm going to use lines again and, um, and create a little bit more depth. This drawbridge would be made out of planks of wood. So I'm going to show you that it's made out of wood, but rather than make all of these lines the same width, I'm going to make them smaller as I get closer to the door. And that will make it feel, that will also give that illusion of depth. Pretty cool, huh? I wonder what your castle looks like right now. Um, castles had windows, not a whole bunch of them. And the windows that they did have were really narrow, they were thin. And these thin windows in the tower prevented arrows from coming in. Because if you had a really big window and they didn't have screens or glass windows back then. If you had a really big window, well, if somebody wanted to come and take your castle and throw a couple of arrows in there and climb up, it'd be easy if you had a really big window. But if you had a narrow window, um, it would be easier to protect yourself. Um, now also, um, another way castles protected themselves uh, was by having a moat, an area of water around their castle. And we're going to do that. Um, we also want to show a way for our drawbridge to go up. So there would have been something here and here and a big chain, maybe made by the blacksmith, that would pull the drawbridge up. And there would have been a way that that chain could be pulled from the other side of the front of the castle. So I made these two little um, circle shapes or upside down U shapes. And I know a chain would be links. You know, a chain might look something like that. But I'm just going to draw a line right now. That's how my drawbridge is pulled up. Now... Um, I'm going to create a moat, but to create a moat, I need to create the land that the castle is on and the land that the drawbridge is touching. So this drawbridge has landed over here. Oh, there's some land. That drawbridge landed on that land. There's some probably some tall grasses there. Tall grasses on that land. Now, um, my castle also has to be on some land. So I want you to make um, a curvy or a wavy or a bumpy, a landy kind of line. And it's going to start in front of our castle. And it's going to move around our castle like that. I want to show you something fun over here. So that's why that line doesn't go off. And I'm going to make some more land here. Now, this is the end of the land right here. Watch how cool and easy this is. It's, we're just going to... What? Look at that. That easy line just made that look like, like a little island or something over there. Now with this being a moat, that means there's water here. And I'm gonna use another easy line, but water's way, kind of wavy. This is why I like my whiteboard. I'm gonna just do some other wavy lines to show some water. I hope you're having fun. I'm having fun just thinking about you. Um, and then this land has got some texture. We're going to show some bumps there. Boom. There's some things that I'm going to do because I have a whiteboard. And if you're just working with marker or pencil, 
Um, you might have some lines that you can't erase and it's going to be okay. Um, I'm going to do something over here. Um, I'm going to create a little bit. Oh, this shows more of this. This is my land. And I'm just going to make a wavy line for some water. There's my water. I'm going to go back to the castle now and wherever you are you're in exactly the right spot if you're still working on the grasses then work on the grasses and if you're ready um, to go on I've got some more fun to show you on the castle now we've all built with bricks and blocks and we know that when we're building with blocks for building with blocks, we don't line the blocks up. Because they fall over really easily. If these are all different blocks. So when we're building with blocks, we stagger where they are. Well, they did that when they built castles too. It made them stronger. So if we want to make this feel more castle-y, we're going to create these straight lines and they don't have to be perfectly straight because these would have been stones. And we're going to stagger these lines so that our stones are strong. You can leave that all white if you want. You don't have to draw stones. Now I want to show you a couple of fun things. I'm going to put another tower. It's behind the front of my castle. I'm going to put another tower back here. And I'm going to use that same curved line at the top of the tower. But instead of doing my, my turrets... Oh, I'm going to do my turrets too, actually. But I'm also going to put an angle line or an upside down V up there. And I'm going to make a flag because the castles all had flags that had their family crest on them. And that way, if some knights or soldiers or king or queen was moving through the countryside and they came across a castle, they would look at the flag. Whose castle is that? I'm gonna show you two easy ways to do um, a flag. One easy, easy way is on that top of that line, you do two lines and put another angle line in it, or a sideways V. Boom! And make your own crest. Here's the trickier way. The trickier way to make a flag is by using like a sideways Z. Well, no, it's not sideways, it's a Z. <laughs> it's a long Z. So I'm going to go, or curvy line, and I'm going to repeat that. And then I'm going to connect these two spots right here. And I'm going to draw a little line right there. That shows like the flag is kind of folding. And I'm going to use the same angle line right here. Boom. Bam. Now what you would also see on the top of a castle is a weather vane. And a weather vane is something that you would see um, that has like maybe an arrow or it might say north, south. And a weather vane shows you what direction the wind is blowing. 
And back when castles were made, um, which is like 470 to the year 1500, um, they needed weather vanes to, to tell them things like, what's, what's the wind doing? Because uh, they didn't have the weather channel yet. Imagine that. Um, okay, cool things next with our castle. Um, we're going to show the side of our castle. And so instead of using a straight line, we're going to use a little angle line here to show the side of our castle. And we're going to connect that angle line. This again gives us some depth. That's pretty tricky. And we're going to make another tower back here. My line went crooked. And I'm also going to make the curve line. And I'm going to do all that stuff again that I've already showed you. Nice breath. And my little turrets. And when I add more bricks back here, these lines are going to be And like I said at the beginning, we're doing something all the way through right now. And once we've gone all the way through, we can look at it, decide what we like, and decide what we want to do differently or what we, we might want to change. Um, back here, I'm also going to add um, like maybe a curvy landline and maybe a big mountain back here. And the last thing I'm going to do with my castle is thicken this line right here. Again, that makes it feel like you can go into my castle. Now, there's more fun things we can do. We can add some texture to our mountains. We can put a big sun in the sky over here. I really want to add a dragon to my mountain, but I'm going to save that for another day with you. Um, yeah. Show me your castle. I can't wait to see it. And um, let's see, anything else we want to do? Can, can we look at your castle? Ooh, nice job. I like your weather vane. I like your mountain. I wonder what's back in your mountain. Nice job. Have a great day, you guys. See you soon.